our prop segment starts with a very unusual outtake from the series Jag. Yeah, I'm, I've been trying to figure out how to explain this. Uh, it features one of the stars of the show, David James Elliott, and uh, I don't know how to put this. He, he, he's sitting on a leather seat cushion that has just a little too much air in it. Colonel Turner tasked me with informing you that Congresswoman Bobby Latham will arrive at 0800. Commander, Ms. Latham has requested that you meet her immediately upon her arrival. Do you have any messages for Colonel Turner, sir? You couldn't tell the Colonel you looked everywhere for me and couldn't find me? No, sir. I don't think so. Thanks, Gunner. Good luck, Commander. Now <laughs> listen for the noisy seat cushion. You think Congresswoman DeLong was tough? Bobby Latham was tough. <laughs> Of course, that was before she graduated from her class. We're coming. Too many beans. Yeah. <laughs> now. In this scene from Caroline in the City, uh, Eric Lutz has to reach into his pocket and pull out one of those big, uh, you know, those big styrofoam hands. Oh, you mean the kind they sell at sporting events that say, we're number one. That's it, exactly. But this hand, this hand has a mind of its own. Del, Please. I want you to call Councilman Lake and tell him to leave Caroline. Now he's the reaching for the campaign. styrofoam hand. All right, Caroline, you're the boss. I just have one last word on the subject. There it is. Oh, there it goes. Now, watch actress Rachel Blanchard here in this scene from uh, the series Clueless. She has to take one, you know, those fragrant room fresheners? She has to spray it into her locker and... Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yes, but I think the room freshener she's spraying is a little too fragrant. Take a look. Action. Hi. D, only eight... Sorry. Keep it going, Ann. Action. Hi. D, only 35 hours and 18 minutes to Luscious Jackson. Do you think they'll open with naked eye? Uh, Cher, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, you're right. It'll probably be mood swing. Why give up a hit single so early? It's much better to build to it. I think I'm high off the of fumes I keep on spraying. <laughs> Here's the director to the rescue, Anson Williams. Hey, that's Potsy from Happy Day. Here's Lucinda! Now the door's going up, and Lucinda's coming up. Lucinda? Lucinda! Hello? Here comes Jenny to the rescue. And here's Lucinda, at last. All right, Suzanne, it's time to talk about the odd couple. You and me? I'm not. <laughs> oh, you mean Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau. Of course. Now, it was about, uh, I think it was about 1968 when Jack and Walter first brought the characters of Felix Unger and Oscar Madison to the big screen. And now, after all those years, the sequel. <laughs> Here are some outtakes from The Odd Couple 2, starring two men who are not only great actors, they're also the best of friends. Watch. Oscar. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Kid never ducked anything. Why are you laughing? He could be dead. <laughs> we need a plan. Agreed? Agreed. Okay, what do you think the plan should be? I don't care. I did my part, and I agree. <laughs> Where is he, for God's sake? Where is he, for God's sake? I put the hat on first, then I say the words. All right, keep my hat off. Okay. Are you making a threat against my son? If that's the way it is, that's the way it is. Well, get your nose out of my schnoz, because otherwise I'll sneeze into your tiny schmear, and your brains will go into crook. <laughs> segment tonight starts with one that's based on relationships. It features two people known as the Soup Couple, and it won the 1997 Clio Hall of Fame Award. Take a look. 
the magic's gone. The minute the lights go out, you fall asleep. It's time to change your bulb to Philips. Philips longer life, square bulbs. The internet is becoming more and more a part. How would you use a dog to sell eyeglasses? Watch. Hello? Need glasses? Save 50% on all frames at iMasters. Now, we've all seen talented dogs, cats, and monkeys in commercials over the years, but have you ever seen dancing penguins? Huh? Save her, join us with Spender. If you want to do a favor, if you love and the door one, I don't want to for me. And sometimes when I leave Friday night, my work site, I like to have its bright golden light around me. John Smith's draft now has a widget in the can for that just served by the landlord taste. And when you've got a widget, you don't need gimmicks. <laughs> Now, as we probably all remember, the, uh, the Oscar Mayer people did a talent search recently to find a kid to sing their jingle. Oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> Literally, hundreds of kids came up for the auditions, and as you might expect, they had some unexpected results. You want to do it again? That is what I truly like to be. <laughs> Watch the mic. I was so worried after my win. No, uh -huh, I did it wrong. So she's being coached off camera. What, mommy? And so is he. First name is all S C A R. I baloney. Huh? I baloney has a first second name is O. M-A-Y-E-R. Here's an ad libber. Be in love with me. Ask my arena a good in every way. Because if they were us, the white arena, everyone would want to follow up with me. Because if they were us, ask my arena, everyone would be in love with me. Up, a monkey who's king of the world. And a man who's gonna get uh, goosed. Who's gonna break Maris's mark and hit 62 out of the park? The race is on. Keep your eyes on the ball. McGuire. Sosa. Griffin. They've got their eyes on the ball. Baseball history is in the making. Who's gonna crush 62 before the season is through? It could happen at a ballpark near you. Don't miss a home run. Don't miss a minute. Keep pace with the race. Log on to MajorLeagueBaseball.com. A message from Major League Baseball.